Uh, what motivates me to do this are people I've met along the way um, and people that, whose experience I think is really compelling. There's a couple here in the city in New York, good, really good friends they've become. They're probably in their mid or late 40s, although I may have insulted them by <laughs> aging them, but a couple of women, they have three awesome kids. They're incredible moms. And before we had marriage here in New York, they had to have a judge send an expert into their house to determine whether they were fit parents so they could have a medical consent form for their kids. Think about that. That's like something you'd hear about in the old Soviet Union or in a totalitarian regime. That's un-American, but that happened here. Or I think about a good buddy of mine who lives in Washington who has a, a partner, longtime partner from Europe, and um, they love each other. They're an awesome couple. And until recently, they had to worry every few years of how he would stay in this country. Or I think about uh, the 14-year-old or 15-year-old that live all over our country, who every year they're excited about their mom and dad's wedding anniversary. It's not a contract anniversary. It's a wedding anniversary. It celebrates their wedding. It's the one thing every year the family celebrates together. And they think, I'm never going to have that. And that's terrible. That's not fair. Imagine growing up and thinking the thing that your mom and dad talk about the most. Maybe they have a wedding album you'll never have access to. So when you think about people like that, that's pretty motivating. Secondly, I'm motivated by the fact that I think this is consistent with what I believe as someone who's a political conservative. I believe in freedom. I believe in family values, and this is consistent with that. Um, I'm also motivated by the fact that I feel like there's an area where I can help. You know, I've had a unique experience uh, professionally in my life, um, and I think as a result, I've learned some things about how to be involved in public persuasion. I've learned some things about tactics that can be effective in various campaigns. And I've met a lot of men and women, many of whom are on the right of political center, who I think I can help encourage to be involved. I was really pleased that we had 135 uh, very senior officials, uh, members of the Reagan cabinet, President Bush's cabinet, and others who signed an amicus brief on behalf of the uh, recent Supreme Court cases, a number of whom, by the way, are still involved. I'm proud of the fact that Paul Wolfowitz wrote an op-ed uh, in uh, Texas newspaper after writing the amicus brief, staying involved in the case. So all of those things are very motivating to me. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of people, again, who do this their whole lives, who, for whom this is a profession. I try to help where I can. And at the end of the day, while I'm pleased to be able to help and will look forward to continuing to find ways to help, what really motivates me is admiring the work that people like them do, people like Chad, people like Evan, uh, people in so many other places around the country who have committed their lives to this. And so all of that, to me, really is important.